went and attacked by Josimar and uh, created a lot of chances. And obviously, the key players missing for Bharat FC affected them to an extent. Absolutely, Sujay. That's make a the lot of differences. Ramanand, very experienced player and uh, very combined. And four of them, like Nabi, Mehraj and uh, uh, Guru Mangi, all experienced playing, doing very well in the last match also. And they defended very well. But Vikramjit also did well as a youngster. And then a uh, lot of pressure also from uh, uh, this is the fumble. You can see that. But again, hit the post. I believe this one, huh? first, uh, uh, first of, uh, opportunity of Mumbai FC. Yes, they hit the post on two occasions, uh, Mumbai FC. That was because they were putting in the pressure. Bharat FC, they had not even half chances to show. Uh, Mumbai FC defense was very alert, uh, winning all the aerial balls put into the box, all the first balls, all the second balls, and very quick in getting back and putting pressure on Bharat FC players, both in their defense and in midfield. And obviously, they always had this outlet off with Josimar, who was chasing down everything and being supported by Jayesh Rane, Mohammad Rafi, and uh, Taisuke Matsugai. Here we see Kutimani, who was, uh, of course, instrumental also with his uh, link ups in the op op combination in opponent areas also. Sankash. Yeah, I believe uh, well defended uh, by Mumbai FC defenders, not given any chance to Bright at Justin and Chika and uh, Ashut from Wright and Allen and on high balls as they have a chance. This that was, was the penalty. Yes, that was a penalty. It came from obviously a long ball uh, which the goalkeeper had played and a quick combination between Josimar led to a penalty uh, for a foul from uh, Mehrajuddin Wadu on uh, the Brazilian. The Brazilian Josimar himself stepped up, the Mumbai FC top scorer. The referee wanted it retaken, obviously he said the Mumbai FC players had encroached, but uh, the Brazilian kept his cool absolutely and slotted in again a second time. Absolutely, as they were playing a lot of pressure and playing well, that they deserve to get the lead and hope that second half will see that how they uh, cope up the same situation pressure of Bharat FC. In second half, they definitely try to draw and equalize that or try to win, take the home advantage. And we'll see that how Mumbai FC will defend their lead or try to increase the lead. Uh, yes, uh, Mumbai FC will look to try and increase the lead if they get the chance. They will have some good chances now with uh, Bharat FC obviously uh, looking to chase the game, looking to chase and find the equalizer. It will play into the hands of the away side. They can obviously uh, go on and uh, slow down the tempo also and uh, uh, make things a little more difficult for the hosts. Still, they had a couple of long rangers uh, from uh, Lester Fernandez and then Jaisil and Prasad, the two Bangalore boys. Following that, another great chance for uh, Kutimani to have helped uh, got the second goal yet. Yeah, not giving any chance. Now you can see the difference. Again, uh, Mumbai FC player defending their own half and try to wait for long balls or counter attacks. Long issue. And Matsugai finds Ashutosh. He sends in a ball at the far post. Justin looks to jump and meet it. And in the punch is clear, always dangerous. And Josimar marches his way into the box, slots it into the box. And in them saves, but the rebound. Goal scorer Sabbat Kuttimani, who himself has also played at Balewadi in the past for Barin and them, but well placed. In second ball. There we obviously just saw the shot from Josimar, which uh, fell kindly to Kuttimani, who made his run to the box. But before that, and again, excellent. Defending by Arindam. Yeah, we saw Brilliant we could have finished this one. Brilliant run by Jayesh to set Paresh through. Maybe Paresh could have taken a shot early. He had too much time, maybe. And then he just. Uh, Manjit. Quick combination there. Manjit looking to get through and take a shot on. And he does. 